Hello guys, welcome to day 15 of Hacker Hacks and today is our code challenge and today we are going to take a look at linked list. So linked list is a data structure which is again used to store some data. Okay, so linked list is like uh, an array but uh, instead of contiguous memory location, it has separate blocks of memory location that are connected together and that is why it is called as linked list. Okay, so a linked list has data stored in nodes. Okay and each node has two elements one is the data field and the next is the uh, pointer field so the data field has information that we want then uh, the node to store or the linked list to store and the pointer field has the location to the uh, points to the location of the next node okay so there are few notations in linked list so the first node that uh, the linked list stores is called as the head and the last node that the linked list stores is called as the tail and we can we don't have to define the size of the linked list beforehand we can modify the size of the linked list as we are uh, as we are adding more and more information to it so let's see what we have to do okay so this is the task that we have to do we have to complete an insert function that will insert a, a, a node into the linked list that will be declared for us and we'll have to complete the insert function in the solution class uh, that will again be declared for us all right so in the input input format is something like this will be given the number of nodes that we will have to insert so the first line will have the number of nodes that we will be inserting so t is equal to 4 and then 4 lines will follow which will have the value the data value of the nodes uh, that we'll have to insert okay so 2 3 4 and 1 are the data value of the nodes respectively and then the linked list will be updated uh, consecutively so there is 2 3 4 1 on the same line we don't have to worry about the input and output of the code because that has been already taken care of by the stub code we just have to complete this in insert function okay so here is the explanation i'll just walk you through it so first is the head node that we'll have to input the data is to as is in inputted and the pointer to the next node will be null because uh, at the time of inputting we only have information that 2 is one of the nodes so but we don't know what is the next node or we don't uh, we we won't be having uh, ha having the information about the next node that's why the pointer to the next node is null here but as we get the second input which is uh, the data 3 we then have the location of the next node that's why the uh, pointer uh, pointer field of the first node will be n1 which is the location of the second node and so on and so forth so this is the in the final link list this is the head of the node and link list and this is the tail of the link list okay so let's proceed with completing completing the function first let me explain you what the code really does so i'll just unlock all the stub code let's start with the main function so a node called head is declared uh, sorry the head of the node or the linked list will be null at first and then we declare an object called my list which is of the solution class and we then declare integers t and data and we will input t which is the number of nodes that we will be inserting and while t minus minus is greater than zero which means that this while loop will be repeated t number of times we'll take the data which is the node and then we'll assign head uh, to this function insert function which has the parameters uh, of head and data okay so this function will be called and we'll have to complete the function so what this function will do is uh, insert insert the node and return the pointer to the head of the linked list this is what the function does and after all the nodes have been inserted this display function will be called which is already defined here and it will 
uh, give us the output that is required. So this is it. And this is the class node which is which defines the data structure of the linked list. What is uh, it has two data members? It has the uh, data member called int data, and it has the pointer field called as next, which points to the location of the next node in the linked list. And the constructor of this class has a parameter uh, d. So the uh, data of the node will be assigned uh, as d, and the uh, next field will be assigned to null. Okay, so let's complete this insert function now. I'll go on and declare a new node and call it as n. So node n is equal to new node, and it will have the parameter data here. So n is a new node. Okay, now let's declare an iterator which will find us the tail of the linked list so that we can add the node to the end of the linked list. So node temp is equal to head and while temp next so which means that while the uh, location of the next node is not null which means that while the iterator is not at the tail of the linked list this while loop will run which will what it will do is it will increase the sorry it will assign temp the value of temp temps next okay so it will jump along the nodes and so let's see uh, let's say if the head of the node is this okay so temp next is n1 and then it will come to this node and temp next will be n2 then it will come to this node temp next will be n3 and then it will come to this node when temp next will be null and then this will loop will terminate so now we are at the tail of the loop and then now we can insert uh, our node n at the end so let's write temp next is equal to n okay so n will be inserted this new node will be inserted at the end of the linked list. This is done and le now let's return head. Okay, but what if this linked list is empty? Okay, so then we don't we won't have a head node right because the linked list is empty. So this will be all invalid. So let's write an if condition. So if head is null, then then the uh, new node that we are defining will be the head of the linked list. Okay, because it is the first node in the linked list. So head is equal to n. Else, all the stuff that we have written will be executed. So else. This will start from here and it will end here. That is it. We have completed this insert function. Now let's run the I'll run the code and check if it works. Yes, it is working. Let me submit the code now. All the test cases have been passed and we have successfully completed this challenge. Congratulations guys, we have completed 50% of this hacker hack series of code and I am very very proud of you guys. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.